Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Meter, and I'm the guest designer today at Scrapbook News and Review. I'm very excited to bring you today's project as we take a glass ornament and turn it into an everyday photo keepsake um, for your home or for gifts. Given the fact that we're getting into the holidays, I think that we can all say that we would love to give some personalized gifts, but we don't always have the time or the money. Now, with the economy right now, this is a great way that you can save money and also give something from the heart. So today, I hope you join me as we take this ornament and turn it into a keepsake that can be personalized for every single person on your gift list. So, let's get started. So we have our supplies all set, ready to go, so that we can make our keepsake ornaments. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a package of round, flat glass ornaments. You're going to want to clean those with Windex and make sure there is no fingerprints or residue on them. You're going to get your graphics rub-ons and as you can see, this is what the package looks like. You get four of each of the sheets I'm about to show you in a package so you could get a lot of ornaments out of this. The sheets that you get are the adhesive film, that's what ends up sticking whatever you create onto the surface that you wish, and you get your rub-ons transfer film. There's a matte side and a shiny side. You're going to want to print, stamp, or draw, however you decide um, what you want to do with this transfer film, your photos or images onto the matte side. Now I've already done that here and I've trimmed it out. I have my children's photos and the first ornament you saw was using this photo of my daughter Amber but today's project I'm going to use my daughter Alexa's photo. So the first thing you need to do is cut a piece of that adhesive film sized to fit. I already have mine cut and you just peel off the backing carefully. You then lay it down over your photo or stamped image and you then want to use your basic gray or some other tool to rub out any bubbles, air pockets, and make sure you have a good um, seal because if you don't that will affect the way that your image goes onto the ornament. You obviously need it to be fully sticky. Now I've already done my daughter Alexis. I'm going to just move those out of the way and now I'm going to cut the photo out. Now you don't have to use a die cut machine. You can punch it, use a shape or whatever you like, but I need an stability for this one. So I'm going to place it where I want and I'm then going to oops, back this out a little bit. That's about right. Maybe put it over there. Okay. I'm going to crank it through. That crack just lets me know that it's cutting through. Pull this out. Pick it up. And it may stick a little bit, so that's okay. I'll fold this up and get it right out of the way. And now I have my photo. Now, before I continue to the next process, I'm going to go over it again just to ensure I have a really good stick because, as I said, this will really affect everything. Here are my ornaments. I find it easier to work with if you leave the ornaments in their container because then they won't slide around. You don't have to worry about it wobbling. Okay, I have a nice good seal and I'm then going to very carefully peel the clear film off my photo. Now, this is where you have to be very careful. You want to make sure that you get your photo exactly how you want it in the center. Now, my photo is on there. Starting from the center, I take this same tool and I gently work my way around trying to keep it as smooth as possible. 
Now you are, even though these ornaments are relatively flat, it's still a round surface. So you just want to make sure that you don't get any wrinkles and you work carefully. Now you'll see this other film starting to pop up and that's okay. Another thing you can do is once you think you have it on pretty well is take it out and kind of rub from the back. You can see, maybe not in the camera, but you can kind of see where some of it maybe not be fully adhered and you just gently rub. Okay. So I'm going to come back over here and just do my best. I'm going to turn it back over again because I find it easier. Now you do have to be a little patient with it again because you want this to be perfect. Once it's on there, you really can't get it off. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could obviously use, um, I found nail polish remover works, but you don't want to have to do that. Okay. Again, it's just really important that you get it smooth. And if you can't get it with the tool, you can then take your fingers and gently press everything down. And again, you just want it to be as smooth as possible. There we go. Okay, now as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty ready. And there you have the photo of my daughter. And the best part, it looks great from both sides. Now, you want to set this so that it doesn't get ruined in the future. I found that Patricia Nemox, the magic name in crafts, um, clear acrylic sealer in matte works great. I literally just stick my hand out the window and about this distance, I give it a light coat three times and it dries pretty instantly. I will show you my daughter Amber's, oh, I think I moved the camera a bit, sorry. Um, Amber's is already covered and sprayed, it's already coated, and there is a light, um, you know, matte finish to it, but you really can't tell, and it looks, it looks great in person. Okay, so, once your photo ornament is done and sprayed and set, you're going to want to take the top off. Well, this is obviously optional. I have some glitter glue and I just put it on the pore section. I have my handy dandy funnel, funnel and I just pour in some glitter. Now you don't have to do glitter. This is a very fine glitter. It just makes it look nice. Another thing you can do is maybe write a few little memories or something about the person that the ornament is for and put it inside. I punched these little flowers and I'm going to just drop them inside. The mouths on the tops of these ornaments are nice and wide so you shouldn't have a hard time. So I just drop them in just like that and I then put my ornament top back on because that's all I decided I want to do. Here we go. And I'm going to add a flower to the top. Add one more. Oops, and I just realized I put one of my flowers that I wasn't supposed to inside. Anyway, I'm going to go back in and take out one of those flowers. And I would put some, you know, I had one of those flowers planned to go here. And then you can take it put it on one of these little ornament hooks and you have a wonderful keepsake memory that will last you for a very long time. I hope you liked it.